Welcome back, folks. Tell you what, we had plenty of great action tonight on the high school football field, but we've got one more great matchup in Sioux Center as the Warriors were looking to pick up their first win of the season against third-ranked Spirit Lake, a game we made this week's Game of the Week. All right, now the Indians were also spurned in week one, so both these teams hungry for win number one of their season. We'll head on out to Open Space Park here for the action. Indians up 42-0 with halftime approaching. Sioux Center looking for an answer. Hunter Van Z launches this one, but a great pass breakup by Sam Hendrickson stops the long ball from being completed. Into the second half now. Warriors, a little bit of a light of hope. Cody Sandbolt. Punches the ball out here, and Santi Estrada will recover it for the Warriors. Spirit Lake, they keep him off the board, though. They'd add their lead. Check this out. William Ditsworth with the field goal. That makes it 45 0. Shutout still alive. Final play of the game. Shutout won't last. Van Z keeps it, guns it to the front pylon, and the final. 45 to 6. Spirit Lake. Sports Forces Irvin Doman was at this game. What'd you see out of the third ranked team in Class 2A, Irv? Well, Jason, we saw pure dominance tonight, like you saw in those highlights. By the time I even stepped foot on that sideline, it was 42 to nothing. Now, when you hold the lead that big, there are some perks. One of them being you get to rotate in a lot of those young players, get some depth work in during the game. And that's what head coach Josh Beloit pointed out as an emphasis point heading into halftime. He also added that he was insanely proud of the way his team attacked this week after a tough and heartbreaking loss to Algona last Last week and he says that's just the mindset that this senior heavy group has had all offseason. Yeah, I, mean, I think our guys had a lot of excitement going into it after the season and you know it was a fun experience for us last year but they wanted to try to get back to that situation. So they worked really hard in the weight room. Um, you know had a great track season, had a great basketball season, great spring sports season. But they worked really hard in the weight room. You know these guys work hard in everything they do and in this classroom too and the show so now the Indians, they will take on the Spencer Tigers next week to try and get above 500 on the season. That game is set to be in Spencer, a 7 o'clock kick, and that's all I've got from Open Space Park. For now, we'll send it back to Signal Hill, Jason. All right, thank you, Irvin. By the way, action on the base pads as well. The Susie Explorers' backs were up against the wall, down 0-1 in a three-game series. The X's need two wins in a row in Fargo in order to advance. They'd look to keep their season alive in Fargo earlier. Pick things up, top of seven, tied at one, bases loaded. Scott Oda pokes one through the right side. Two X's will score. That makes it three to one Explorers. Next man at the dish is Justin Connell. Connell takes the one, one pitch and launches it to left center. Outfielder leaps. That thing's gone for a three-run bomb. X's plate five in the seventh. They even the series. Keep their season alive with a 7-1 win. 